Let's go. Happy Monday. We're back at it. I'm excited today to uh, have this chat with you guys. It's going to be a good one. Um, today is, uh, is a great day. Uh-oh. Hold on. Today's a good one. We are, we're going to get started. I'm going to jump in this because uh, I've got a lot to talk about today. And um, just talking about this, first of all, uh-oh. Uh-oh, hold on. What happened here? So, first thing I want to say is thank you for joining. Thank you for jumping on. We, uh, <laughs> we do this every, every Monday at 4.30 Pacific Standard Time. So, I want to thank you, first of all, for jumping on. Second of all, uh, what I want to do is uh, just, number one, tell you guys that uh, today we're the topic we're going to talk about, you know, I've been thinking about a lot of stuff and I just want to make sure that I can always bring something to you guys that's going to be uh, uh, helpful and is going to help impact your fitness journey, uh, really helping you really dial in what you need to be doing. And at the same time too, um, <laughs> make sure you guys get a little bit of motivation in the process. Uh, but starting with that, like today I want to talk about, like if you're currently struggling right now with, um, with losing fat, uh, body weight, all those type of things right now, a lot of times, you know, uh, talking to people and looking around myself, and I see a lot of people struggling with really changing their body composition. Uh, primarily, the reason why I do these calls is because there are a lot of, there are a lot of people who are, um, you know, really subjective to a lot of the information out there. So I want to, what I try to do here on these calls is make sure I get to the point and make sure you understand exactly what's on there. Ben, I see you, man. Thank you, brother, for, for jumping on. Um, so I'm excited about this because what I really want to do is like, you know, when you're unhappy looking at yourself and how you look, you know, um, having a, an extra, you know, uh, extra pounds around your your midsection is stubborn, right? Where, where you hold you hold on to it. Um, the thing is, is that as you keep working out, you continue to work and eat better. A lot of times you struggle with really losing that body fat, and that's what we're going to talk about today. And we want to talk about like, can I reset my my metabolism? What can I do in order for my metabolism to start working right? So, because this is this is happening, this you're not alone, right? So in a lot of cases. People, you know, um, attribute their weight gain or, or the difficulties of losing fat to their metabolism. So, um, but is it really a, a metabolism issue, right? So let's talk about that. And I want to talk about it first because we really start talking about the importance of your metabolism. Your metabolism described to your metabolism metabolism describes the process of chemical reactions in your body that goes through for you to stay alive. So, really, when you start to really think about this, the big thing is is that your body is taking food and oxygen and water. Um, and converting it into energy. This is the process of burning calories to create energy. So as I'm talking to most people, and I'm talking really about like, you know, diets, I'm talking about, you know, uh, restrictive diets, all these crazy things people are doing, the reality is your body metabolism can, can be fixed. Now, the issue is, is that when we start talking about resetting your, your metabolism, the real thing I want to talk about is that most people are more concerned about their basal metabolic rate, which is your BMR, right? This rate is what your body um, completes the process of while it's resting. So while it's burning those calories while you're resting, this is where the challenge starts to come in because it's not necessarily only when you exercise, but majority of the time when your body is resting. So understanding how your metabolic meta, <laughs> metabolism, metabolism works is important in order for you to reach your fitness goals. And that's why we're having this conversation today. And there's many factors that contribute to your metabolic, your metabolic rate. And some of those are, and some of them you can't control, which is your genetics, okay, your hormones. Um, and those, both, those things both play a huge part in this. But in the, in the aspect of you trying to figure out how your metabolism works, one of the things I can tell you is look at your family. Look around you. And you'll notice by your family looking at their bodies, looking how their body compositions are, it'll tell you kind of how your metabolism works, okay? And some other factors that play a part of this is your age, your gender, like uh, your nutrition, your workouts, your activity level, your water consumption, your body composition, meaning if you have muscle. Um, a lot of these play a big part as well in your um, metabolic rate, right? So when we start really looking at this, women, okay, and older people tend to have slower metabolic rates, and men who have higher muscle mass per, you know, um, percentages uh, tend to have faster metabolic rates. Sometimes women say, oh, oh my God, men just lose uh, weight so fast. Well, there's two sides of that. I mean, to keep it general is one is that, yeah, men have more muscle, so they're going to metabolize, their metabolism is going to be a little faster. So they're going to probably lose fit, uh, weight at a faster rate. 
But also, um, fat plays a big part in the reproductive system for women. So that's another part. So you know, if you're a fella and you're and you're working out with your wife or you're trying to figure this out, like understand that's kind of the 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 just um, uh, understanding. Like that's the big difference, and that's why. But knowing this and really understanding like what's going on will help you understand your personal metabolic rate, and you can make the adjustments for your lifestyle accordingly. So. What I want to get at, and I want to just say, first of all, um, I got to see John, man. Thank you guys for jumping on here. What I want to tell you, first of all, before I really dive into this, you know, at the end of this call, I'm going to be inviting you guys. I'm going to do something special. I'm doing some research, and I want to be able to invite you guys out to do a Zoom with me, and uh, I'm going to make it a win-win. So I'll share with that, so stick with me. Um, really, it's about setting up a um, set up a Zoom call and really asking you some real questions about some of the challenges you have going on. So let's talk about it. How do you reset your metabolism? And so the first thing I want to do is, you know, um, I don't really like the word reset uh, because he may give you the wrong impression. So, like, when your, your metabolism isn't something like, it's not like a Wi-Fi router, okay? It's not like you can just, like, when it starts to slow down, you can just unplug it or hit the reset button and then wait, like, three minutes <laughs> and then plug it back up and then it's, like, lightning fast again. This is a process that we have to understand, like, so, so saying reset your metabolism, let's, that's not really what we're doing. What we're doing is improving our metabolism. So that's what we want to focus on, okay? And there's three main things main ways to improve your metabolism and those three are change your food switch your up switch up your exercises and create a positive lifestyle habits those are the three things okay those three things if you change those things those are going to help you drastically change your metabolic rate um, and your metabolism so uh, for us to live uh, you know while we dive into this you know the understanding is is that um, the different there's different methods of improving your uh, met metabolic uh, metabolism uh, but what I want to talk about is number one, what works for you? Okay. The first thing is, is that you could be following a lot of the stuff I'm going to be talking about right now, and that's great. Um, you could be following a few, a few of these things, but the big thing right now is just making sure that any area that you're lacking, this could be an opportunity for you to build a new habit with. Right. So um, do what's best for you for improving your your um, metabolism. But most importantly, you know, this whole this whole uh, um, live today is really focused on really getting you to understand how your metabolism works so that you can do better with getting to your, um, your fitness goals and really cutting that stubborn fat. Um, so what I want to tell you, the first thing you want to do, and this is pr probably pretty obvious, is that water, okay, drinking and staying hydrated is one of the biggest things when it comes to your metabolism. The reason for it is because staying hydrated, what helps you is that your body, it, by being hydrated, it helps you distribute nutrients and it helps you get rid of and remove toxins and waste from your body. So it helps that after that your metabolism finishes the process. So when you have a lot of junk or a lot of things in your way, you're not uh, hydrating, keeping your body absorbing um, the nutrients you have, it's going to slow down your metabolism. The big part about this is when I talk about macronutrients, we talk about protein, carbs, fats, I always throw water in. Because without hydration, you're going to struggle with making sure that your body is optimally uh, working and your metabolism is working. So without, without it, your metabolism will slow down. And therefore, like consuming uh, like 100 to 120 ounces of water per day is a great way to start. Um, and this is going to help your metabolism. So if right now, you know, throughout the day, you don't, you're not carrying a water bottle with you and you're drinking and continue to drink water, this could be a big issue for you because without hydration, okay, without hydration, yeah, just like Emma said, it could be a big mistake, okay? What I want to tell you right now is that when you really start to think about this, like these aren't, these aren't like crazy things, but these are things that we have to do. You know, when you feel thirsty, okay, when you feel thirsty, it's, it's too late, but that means that you should be drinking more water, okay? Just, just think about the fact that if you're eating and your body's breaking down this process, if it doesn't have the, 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 the absorption and the flow to get in and out of your body, where is it going to go, okay? And is it really going to do its part, okay? So that's the first thing, okay, is stay hydrated, okay? The second thing is, is that you want to, you want to eat more protein, okay? I talk about this consistently about eating more protein because, it, you know, this nutrient plays a big role in your metabolism, okay? Inside your nutrition plan, consuming enough protein every day is beneficial for your health, uh, health of your metabolism function. For example, like, you know, if you eat protein in your food, um, your body requires, what, what happens is it requires your body to use energy to break down and digest it. So the number one, the, the number of calories you need in your body to digest and absorb and process the nutrients in your meals is called the theric uh, the, the, <laughs> the thermic effect of food, okay? So what this is, is that protein has a high thermic effect of food, or TEF, you want to call it, out of all three macronutrients, which are pro, uh, proteins, carbs, and fats, right? 
So the big thing is, is that what you want to understand and to make this simple is that by making sure that you're having protein, a high protein uh, uh, in your body, not only does it take it longer for it to, to break down, but it also keeps you feeling fuller, okay? Which also pro protein is going to do is that it's going to, you're going to build that nutrient, which is going to help you have the energy and help you uh, rebuild itself. So as you're doing all the right things, you're exercising and everything else, or you know, if you're someone that's sedentary, like you must have protein in your body because not only does it take longer to break down, and I'll just throw this one out there as an additive, this is not a part of my thing, but when you start thinking about carbs, and some, some carbs, they digest so fast that you continue to, to consume and consume and consume them, right? They digest fast. Protein digests slower so that you don't eat it as much. So when you start to eat carbs that digest fast, you stay hungry longer, so it continues, you continue to eat, which means you keep pushing up your calorie intake which is not good, which is gonna create more fat. So the idea is that protein should be the basis. Like I will tell you right now, there's nothing more important right now than keeping your metabolism healthy and keeping your body optimizing and, and burning that fat by making sure that you have um, a proper amount of protein. And we've talked about this in my other lives, you know, and, and with me and with my programs, it's all about making sure that we're building lean muscle. So I always suggest that we are at a, a, gram, of, a, a gram of protein per body weight. So again, for me, I'm 200, between 220 and 23 pounds. I eat 223 pound, uh, grams of protein each day. That's a must. And sometimes, you know, it, it's mostly in my food. And sometimes when you're on the go, you know, you can grab, um, you know, some jerky. You can grab a protein bar. Um, you know, you can have a shake. Those type of things are allowed to supplement in between. But most importantly, guys, make sure you're getting your protein, okay? So, so from the first two things, these things would seem pretty obvious. But I want to say this. I don't see a lot of people, even in the gym, really hydrating themselves with working out. I also will say, outside of the gym, making sure that you're constantly drinking water and drinking, drinking water and making sure that you're getting your water in and tracking it is important, okay? But this one I'm going to share right now, I think is something, there's next two, are something I think a lot of people miss. And so I want you really to pay attention to this because I think that, you know, it's hard to, um, to know where these things are, so I want to deliver this right to you, okay? The next thing you want to do is eat superfoods, okay? When we talk about superfoods, um, they're typically, you know, phytonutrients or antioxidants or enzymes that, that, uh, that your body can utilize to help operate more efficiently. So an example of this is like spirella, okay? Um, beets, alfalfa, alfalfa sprouts, berries, broccoli, wheatgrass, spinach. None of that stuff sounds amazing, right? But one of the things I will tell you is that these foods not only fight free radicals, but they give you your body give you the, nutri the nutrients you need to keep your metabolism moving fast. So one of the things I take, uh, I take a, uh, a super, it's a green superfood powder and a green super, uh, red superfood powder I use from Force Form. This, this way for me, it's hard to get the amount of spirilla and, and wheatgrass and spinach and all that stuff on a daily basis. So I take this as my morning routine in the morning to allow me to set my metabolism. But it was one of those things that I know that is really good for my gut health as well. So when you're thinking about um, what you could be doing to continue making things better for yourself in terms of your metabolism, this is an area that I think most people miss out on. So um, I will tell you, if you have any questions about that, uh, you, can, you can connect with me uh, uh, directly, you know, any way you can. You can DM me. You guys can comment here on here. But what I want to say so far is as I'm talking about this, how many of you guys are actually eating superfoods? Now, give me some love. Give me, let me show me right now uh, what's what's happening for you. Are you are you getting superfoods? Do you have that actually in your uh, in your in your regimen, in your routine, in your nutrition plan? If not, this is something you need to add today. Okay, and, and I can help you out with that. Right. So, and I hear and I see this. This is great news. I have uh, my boy Bo Brennan right here. You know, he's saying like, you know, he started listening and now following for two weeks ago. And he lost five pounds. Congratulations, brother. That's what I'm talking about. And, he, and everything we're talking about, everything I go on here is about refining the way we do things to allow ourselves to be in the most optimal, efficient way to get to the goal. It's not about the quick fix. It's about the right one. That's going to last forever. I want to fix problems. I don't want them to continue to last. So this is great, Bo. And I'm glad that this is happening for you, man. And I keep listening. And, I, and, I, and I'm glad this is starting to um, make a big difference in your life. Thank you, man, for sharing that. So this is amazing. And these are the kind of things, these are the kind of things that get me excited about doing this because I know that as I go on here, um, I'm giving opportunities um, to share information, but I want to make sure that this is making a difference in your life. So with that being said, superfood, superfood, superfoods, it's got to be consistent. you got to make sure you have that. And you know, when you're really thinking about it, um, it's time for you to, to invest in that. It's not a lot, but it's going to make a big difference. Okay. So 
here goes another one. And I don't know if this is ever, um, you know, really brought to you in this way, but you got to eat more, eat foods that are full of iodine. Okay. Iodine. You're like, what the heck is iodine, right? So iodine is essential for your metabolism process. It's very essential. Um, your thyroid needs it, um, adequate amount of iodine, which is a small amount, but it's still, um, hard to get in your diet. So for your, for your, your metabolism, your metabolic function. So by eating foods such as like shrimp, um, seaweed, those things will help. Um, you can ensure that you're getting the necessary amounts of iodine in your diet. But how often do you need to eat this? You know, if, you, if you're like most people, um, and not often, there's, a, there's, a, there's different supplements out there that can help you so you can do this. I will say this. I'm not a big fan. Um, <laughs> my wife always say she, gets, she loves shrimp. Uh, but I do get my shrimp here and there. Um, at the same time, too, you know, when it comes to seaweed, they have the dry seaweed that you can eat. There's different ways of getting this, but it's very important to get the iodine, uh, the, um, the, uh, iodine in your seafood. It's very important. Shrimp has a big part. So if you're a shrimp lover, eat a little more shrimp, although there's, it's a little high on cholesterol. If, you have, if you're a person that has a cholesterol issue, be careful with that. Okay? But outside of that, what I'm saying is, is like, it's about time now that you start to think, these are simple things that you could put in practice that are going to help you start to metabolize your body, get your body into a function that is more efficient. So this issue we're having with losing this belly fat, this issue we're having getting all this hard work, getting our muscles to peak out, getting our body to start to cut that body fat is super important. Okay. Now, this is the thing. I talk to so many guys and one of the things they tell me, a lot of guys will come to me and be like, hey, Z, I need to lose weight. Although they could be overweight. They're like, I need to lose weight. What they're saying is, bro, I need to lose this fat around my muscle. So I can say tone because a lot of guys want to be muscular. They want to look better. But really the idea is what are you doing? Like what are you doing? Are you really doing the things necessary to help you lose body fat or are you focusing on weight? And if that's the case, you know, one of the things I would say, and here goes Ben. Ben just gave us out. If you guys go to the Korean market, they have uh, the Korean markets. They have the, uh, the seaweed and you can eat that. That's going to be really good for you. It's going to be very healthy. Okay. Um, but these two things, like give me a thumbs up. Like if you guys know about like, have you heard this before that you need to make sure that you eat superfoods to make your metabolism function better? Do you know about eating more iodized food um, to make your metabolism function better? I'm sure you haven't heard these things, but this is the thing. You're out there researching. There's so much distraction. There's things that you may not be aware of, but this is stuff right here that's going to take you to the next level. See, and this is the thing, like I'm sharing this information with you because not only do I want to make sure that, um, you know, I'm giving you guys vi uh, viable and valuable information, but I want you to know, like, as I build my coaching program and I invite you guys to this, the bottom line is, is like, like, I, I want, I want, I want men and women, I want men that come to me that say, bro, like, I'm ready to go. Like, I'm committed to this, but you're willing to do the work because at the end of the day, like, like the, the, the challenge you have, like, it's, a, I'm going to guarantee the result. I'm going to make sure that you get to where you're going. But it's stuff like this and keeping you accountable and teaching you the routines and what you need to do in order for you to, to uh, accomplish your goals. But when you're running out here and you're looking for all this information and you do this and you do that and you switch up this and you switch up that, you're misleading your, it's misleading information that's not going to really help you get to your goal. Although some of these things are healthy, they're not consistent enough and you haven't created a routine around it to make yourself successful at work, what you're trying to accomplish. So it's super important to make sure you're doing that. So let me just run this back down. We were talking about making sure that we stay hydrated, we eat more protein, you know, we eat superfoods, and we're making sure we're getting that, um, the foods full of iodine, right? The next thing is, which is so, so obvious, is you got to exercise, right? If you don't work out, <laughs> start today. Like, let's get to the gym. If you know how to gym, let's work out at home. You can do a lot of things at home to get, your, get yourself going. But exercise can simply, you know, be like walking upstairs, walking around the block, doing something, but get active, like get your body moving. And again, you know, majority of the people are, that, are, that are connected to me, that are coming to me, are, are a lot of former athletes, a lot of guys that know how to get down, but they're just not doing the work. And or they're waiting for someone to do it because we all had coaches before. And we all had this accountability. We had to show up and play. And now your life has changed and you don't have that same principle, those same accountability uh, uh, marks in your life. So you're not doing the work. I'm telling you right now, do the work, right? So exercise is better than nothing. Like any exercise is better than nothing. So what you got to do is move your body, right? When you move your body, you burn some calories, you create a, uh, you want to, it'll help you create a caloric, a caloric deficit um, that you need to lose weight, okay? But this is the thing. There, there's other favorable benefits of exercising as better energy, like you'll have better energy levels. Um, you, you know, you'll have improved circulation. You'll get better sleep. 
And there's a lot of other things you can be doing. So if I'm having to talk you into working out right now, please, please understand the goal here is we want to lose body fat. The only way we're going to lose body fat is making sure that we are disciplined in our nutrition, making sure that we're taking these steps that I'm telling you right now to really improve your metabolism. And from there, all it is now is a time game and consistency and making sure that you have a good routine, right? So I hope you guys are getting some good uh, content from now. And again, like I told you guys before, I'm going to put it, put it here in the, in, the, uh, in the thing here. I'm looking for some guys, some actually some, some men, some fathers, to, uh, I posted it here in the group. Uh, I'm looking for some guys to, to do a, um, where did it go? Uh, to do a uh, interview with me, okay? What I want to do, and I'm offering this up because this is the information I'm given, is that you see the link that I just, I just poked here or just uh, dropped here in the uh, comments. If you click on that, fellas, it's going to ask you to, to sign up and pick some time. And I just want like 20 minutes with you. I got some questions I want to ask. And what I want to do, I want to be able to help you in the process too. But this question is helping me do some market research, merely understanding, uh, you know, the depth of your challenges and what you're dealing with. And if you're out here and you're watching me and you've been on my lives, you know, I'm really asking you guys if you can help me out because what I want to do is I want to make sure that I build an amazing coaching program that's going to change lives. That's what I'm going to do. So fellas, this link is for you guys. I really need you to jump, jump on here. And I'm going to tell you this. If you do this for me, I'm actually throwing in a $20 Amazon gift card. So it's a win-win. Yeah, it's pretty much like uh, 20 minutes for $20 of, uh, from Amazon. So I would really appreciate it if you guys can go and click on that. My schedule's up there, so you have, you'll be able to pick the time that works best for you. Um, but I'll remind you guys as we go back through here to make sure this is the link right here. Make sure that you go to that link right there, and I'll uh, definitely uh, appreciate it. So here goes, here goes the thing. So we talked about all this stuff. We talked about working out. But what kind of workouts should you be doing, right? So number one, I will tell you this. The one that if you're looking to really get your metabolism rolling, okay, is metabolic workouts. So what we talk, we want to call is um, HIIT workouts, okay? HIIT workouts are high-intensity interval training workouts, okay? These are some of the greatest, they have some of the greatest advantages of doing HIIT cardio for both fat loss and muscle gain, okay? So right now, I'll tell you this, like, one of the benefits of HIIT is to elevate your, metabol your, your metabolic rate for about 24 to 72 hours after you exercise, you know, where steady state cardio typically doesn't do that. So if you're hitting, so like today, I worked out with my guy, uh, Jonathan Franklin, and I'll tell you right now, we ended the workout with, uh, we, did, we did 10 sets of high knee up down burpees, um, and we did, <laughs> it was 10 sets of 10, okay? And with, you know, with our making sure that our, our heart rate dropped back under 65% before we went again, but we, after, this was after our workouts, but it only took us about 15 minutes, about 17 minutes to get it done. And that's what I'm talking about. These type of things will ignite and turn on your metabolism. But I will tell you this, for some people, when we talk about um, HIIT working out, what happens is, is that depending on your fitness level, you may not have to go as fast as me. So for instance, if your fitness level is not, if you're not as in condition, just doing the interval at the best level you can, what I want to tell you is get you an um, Apple Watch or a Whoop, okay, and make sure that as you're doing it, it's not about, it's about going as fast as you can, as hard as you can for about, you know, 30 seconds at the most, right? <clears throat> and then resting as long as you want to get your heart rate to fall back under 65% before you go again, because you got to give 110% effort again. The cool thing about this is that not only does it limit time, you don't have to spend an hour on a treadmill. You can get this thing done. You can really, you know, bust out a lot of, of energy, but you really ignite your metabolism to really turn on. So the, the amount of energy that is, <coughs> that is used is, is crazy. So the hit, what it does is it, it, um, it, it, uh, what it, it's similar to weight training, but it promotes muscle growth. And, it, and what it helps is it helps preserve your muscles that you're already building. And that's another reason why I do hit getting on a cardio, getting on a treadmill and jogging or going around and jogging the neighborhood. Like <laughs> that's not for me. And I'll tell you this, even this morning, I went on my walk. I do a clarity walk in the morning and uh, two people ran by me today and I was just looking at their body as they ran by me. And you know, this, the whole thing is our body, our metabolism uh, wants us to be skinny fat. That's the truth. <laughs> like your metabolism does not want you to, uh, to, to gain muscle, like the stress, your body, you put your body under stress when you do that. So the, the thing is, is like, as we start to think about this, you know, the thing I think about and I see these people running, I'm going like, I get it. It's good for your heart. But the reality is if you want to change the way your body looks, and I'm telling you this, like I got my boy, Troy, come on here. Troy played, Troy played, um, played football with me at college. And I'm telling you right now, the guy's a beast, 
But I'm telling you, for former athletes, it's hard for us sometimes. We're like, we got to get out here and do the work. It almost feels the same, but I'm telling you, when you ignite that energy, fellas, when you're out there and you're really pushing yourself and you're really doing that, it starts to really change the way your body looks, and you'll see it quickly. You know, and I'll tell you this, I, uh, I, Brennan caught me, caught me my little dime I threw out there. Um, you know, it's really important to have a clarity walk. I spend about 10 minutes in the morning. I'll just say this. Uh, this is, I don't go much longer than that. It's like, kind of like my meditation, but it helps me to, to focus on what I need to get done for the day, which I'll talk to you guys about another time. But this is dope. And, and Brennan, that's really dope that you do that. We do the same thing. That's cool. So the, the thing I will say this, the biggest advantage to hit cardio is the time, right? So you, when, you, when you think about it, um, most people are hitting the treadmill for like 45 minutes to an hour. And I, when guys come up to me like, hey, man, I want to look like you. I want to have more muscle. I'm like, bro, I'm not on a treadmill for 45 minutes, 50 minutes, 60 minutes. I'm not doing that, okay? Where you can do hit. I mean, you can do hit for 10 minutes, 5, 10 minutes, um, and make sure that you, you, know, you really take advantage of the time. And when it's all said and done, if you've got a tight schedule, you're out here hustling, you've got work, you've got a lot of things to do, get it done and get out, right? Um, walking does play a big part, but I'm telling you right now, we're talking about how do we how do we lose the belly fat? How do we lose fat around ourselves? This is the best way to do it, okay? And with you doing a resistance workout, which you're about to talk right now, these are the two combinations that are gonna change the game. So, as I'm talking about this, I gotta say this, the principles for me is, is resistance working out, making sure you have really good uh, nutrition, making sure you understand that this, you have to have consistency, you gotta make sure that you're, you're, you're committed to doing that, but at the end of the day, it's really about making sure that you know, we're, we're not wasting our time doing a bunch of cardio trying to lean out when at the end of the day, when we build more lean muscle, our metabolism is going to, to break up or it's going to stick up or it's going to peak up, I should say that. So beginning a, a, um, a resistance training, resistance training is the pathway to getting stronger, to promoting your lean muscle growth, and to, to some extent, get leaner, okay? So sure, you can get super lean by doing a lot of cardio and endurance style, you know, um, exercise routines. But this, doesn't, this does very little to keep your muscles you have. So I'll tell you this. You can even look at it. Like look at, look at a sprinter and look at a marathon runner. The thing is, if you look at it, the sprinter having the muscle and everything else isn't out there running a long time. The person that is out there running marathons that are running miles and miles and miles doesn't have the muscle. Yeah, they're skinny. They're skinny. But if that's your goal, you want to be skinny and you don't want muscle, then do that. But I think if you're, you're around me and you're focusing on what I'm talking about, we're talking about building lean muscle, making sure that we got our biceps looking good, our chest looking good. Like that doesn't come from running miles out on the field. That doesn't work, okay? So what we want to do is we want to be on it. We want to have a, a serious resistance workout. Uh, we want to make sure that we're focusing on the muscles. We want to make sure that the muscle tissues are burnt, burn more calories. We understand every day that we're lifting weights, that we're burning more calories, um, in that what, we ha what happens, we're promoting that lean muscle group growth and maintaining the muscle that we have by improving our, metabol our meta um, metabolism that can help us gain the definition at the same time. I will tell you this, 42 years old, thinking about all I've done in my life, as soon as I really focused on making sure I was maximizing my work, making sure I was eating correctly and I was incorporating HIIT cardio into my workout regimen, my body changed. But there's so much more behind that. But the, the, these, are, these are the outside things. These are the external things that will help you become way better. I think that when it comes to weightlifting, if you're doing CrossFit, which I'm not a big fan of, um, if you're doing bodyweight exercises, some boot camps, those things are going to be great for you. So as long as they're incorporating some kind of weight, they're pushing you to say, like if you're lifting a weight and, and you're doing something, but it's not really making your focus, it's not making you think, it's not challenging you, it's not going to make your body change change or grow. It's not going to get you to see the definition that you want. And if you want the definition, you got to get rid of the fat and getting rid of the fat is going to have a lot to do about taking all these things I'm talking about, hydrating, eating your protein, making sure you're getting your superfoods, making sure you're getting your iodines, making sure that you're doing your hit cardio, making sure that you have this. These are simple things to do. Okay. And I will say this, the one thing, and I'm going to really dive on this one. I think I'll do another live on this one day, but what I will tell you this is you got to get a sufficient amount of sleep. Like, like I, I've, it's been one of the things I think has taken my, my body to another level. It's my performance to another level. And that's the reason why I got whoop. And I will tell you this, your body needs rest to properly um, perform, okay? And if you listen to your body, make sure you're getting enough shut-eye. Like, make sure you're sleeping. Like, the late-night distractions like your phones, the TVs, you know, all that stuff like that. Is gonna is gonna um, is going to get in the way of you getting sufficient sleep. So once you climb into bed, put anything any distractions away, right? 
and 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 what I will tell you this is sleep has to be on purpose. It's almost like it's almost like when you're working out and you're focused on your nutrition, you have to make sure just like you're like if you're in the gym and you're working out hard and you're doing all the right things your nutrition right, but you're slacking on the sleep, your your sleep needs the same kind of attention as your nutrition and your workout. Like that's without being said. Because I'll tell you this, fellas, and this is this is like a big part for fellas right now. When we hit puberty, okay, right at the moment we hit puberty, okay, um, our pituitary gland stops producing human growth hormones at about 14% every seven years, okay? It might sound like a lot, but if you're in your 30s, 40s, you start to realize that natural human growth hormone has to help with your recovery. On top of that, while you're sleeping, in REM sleep, okay, in REM sleep, your body is um, re reducing or regenerating testosterone. So when you're thinking about feeling tired, you're feeling, thinking about your body's not peaking, all these kind of things. It's probably because of the quality of sleep that you're getting. Not, and some people can sleep for eight hours, but it's just the quality of sleep that you're getting and the routine. It's about making sure that you set a routine, that if you're going to go to, if your routine is go to sleep at 11 and wake up at seven, keep that routine. Keep that routine by any means necessary. That doesn't mean, oh, I don't feel tired. I'm going to stay up and wake up at seven. Go to bed. And this is one of those things as an entrepreneur I've had to. I've literally like changed my entire way of doing things because this is a big part. Stay off of Instagram, stay off of uh, TikTok and all that kind of stuff and get to sleep, okay? One thing I will tell you, get you some blue light glasses if you're using a computer or your phone later in the day. This will help with making sure that you get better sleep, okay? So I'm, I'm, I'm getting close to wrapping up here, but I wanted to say right now, through all this, what I'm talking to you guys is that I, I, what I'm doing is I'm giving you some solid information. The difference is, can you, will you follow what I'm saying? Most guys, most people, not going to do it. You hear it, you know it, but it's got to get done. That's the thing that you got to work on. That's the thing that's the difference. That's how, when you come work with me, like, like again, and I, and I know my program's not for everybody, but it's for those that really want to make a difference, that really want to make that transformation. And even right now, I got my boy Richard on here talking about sleep kills me. I'm sure it's more than just sleep because it's the thing that if you're not getting, it's something else that's going on. It's bigger than that. But the sleep part is the part that's affecting your metabolism. The sleep part is the fact that's holding you back from being able to perform, to have the cognitive ability to go do what you need to do. You're not getting enough rest. And this is the thing, like we all got goals. We all wanna make things happen in our lives, but we're walking around and we're, we're like almost dumb because we're not sleeping. We're almost lacking our, our, our truest uh, uh, performance level because of our lack of way we feel. We don't feel like doing stuff. We're tired. It's not because you're getting old. It's just that you're not doing the things to make sure that your body and your mind are taken care of. You take care of those two things, everything else will change. You will soar in your career. You will make it to the next level. You will do all the things you want to do. But you got to prioritize this. Okay? And here goes another one. This is, goes with sleep and everything else. It's lowering your stress levels. Like, like stress places extra pressure on our body. You know, the, the craziest thing is during extended times, a, a periods of time, the extra pressure that leads to, unf it, this, this what happens is like, it, it leads to unfavorable changes in your hormones and recovery. And it's, cr and it's crucial aspect of influencing your uh, metabolism. Okay. It's true. The thing I'll tell you is when, when you start to think about this, you know, uh, you know, the, the, you know, work, this thing, you know, when it comes down to a stress is like one of the biggest things that plays a big part. I will tell you this. You probably, probably don't know this, but I'm going to put it out there. When you exercise, exercise is a form of stress. Okay. Exercise is a form of stress. And you know, like, like, you know, stressing over finances, like, uh, you know, stressing over relationship, anything, you know, stressing over the fact of, you know, maybe you don't feel healthy or not. The stress is the same thing. Your body doesn't know the difference. So when you're working out, and you're lifting weights, your body's under stress. So it releases cortisol. Cortisol is going to break down your muscle. The reason why I talk about post-workouts and all that kind of stuff, which is for another conversation, is because we want to shut off that cortisol reaction because if you don't, you shut, you shut off the, the catabolic system because your body has already used all the glycogen with protein. You have a, 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 a glycogen carb replacement so that you can be able to shut off that, that cortisol so your body shuts that down so it gets back into growth and repair mode. Okay, it's super important. So stress levels, and I'm telling you right now, you know, like go for a walk, have some quiet time, take many breaks throughout the day, meditate, do things, find a ritual like yoga if you have to. Okay, but something has to get there to help you lower your stress. I will tell you this, like 
I honest, I honestly believe that even in my own personal life where I've had some challenges, even during this pandemic, when you think about like, you know, everything that's going on, I found that, uh, that, that the stress level was holding me back from keeping my meal prep tight. It was affecting my workouts, all that. But as soon as I was able to fix the thing that was stressing me, <laughs> everything's changed. I, I, I mean, I'm talking about everything. You know, I, I'm, I'm sitting here telling you guys from experience that you really got to handle the stress thing. You really got to make sure that you take care of it because it will help you so that you put yourself in a better position to focus on the things you need to do. And those things that seem daunting won't be so daunting because you'll lower the stress, okay? Like stress, those things, are, like your body naturally is going to tell you not to go work out. Your body's naturally going to tell you to rest and do all these other stuff because you're stressing, okay? You don't have the energy. You're going to feel lethargic. That's because of stress, all right? So I understand that we all are dealing with different things. And, you know, obviously I'm not in your position, but I want to tell you, do something about it. Meditate, go for walks, take some mini breaks, you know, throughout the day if you're able to do that. And I'm sure that's going to change it. So the last thing I'm going to talk about here, and this pretty much, you know, uh, sums it all up, is just create positive lifestyle habits. This, is, this really comes down for you to improving your metabolism. I mean, as you can see, there are many different ways to improve your metabolism, but you don't need to do anything drastic. Like when you think about resetting your, uh, your, your, your metabolism, what you're really doing is improving the ability for it to work. It's small changes um, to the foods that you eat, you know, ways that you exercise, your daily habits, can, and your daily habits can help you improve your metabolism by burning extra calories and losing that extra weight. That's what you want to do. You want to lose that belly fat. You want to lose the fat around your muscles that are holding you back from looking as good as you want. So what I will tell you right now, again, and again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and repost this again for the second time, but I'm going to tell you guys, if, if, guys, like right now, if you're in a situation and you're in, and thing is, I'm asking you this, and this is just for market research. I'm asking you, hey, jump on the phone with me, jump on Zoom with me and get on here and let's talk about these things. Because I will tell you right now that the biggest thing, the biggest thing for you, and here, here goes the link right here. It's in the comments. What I'm going to tell you right, right now is like the biggest thing for you is there's so many things out there misleading you. There's so many things that are creating, um, you know, obstacles for you, but there's simple things that we could talk about to help you get to the next level. What I want to tell you is just by going on here and doing this, uh, helping with this market research, what you're going to do is, of course, I'm going to say, hey, pay for your time. Here's, here's $20 to Amazon. Let's get it done. But what I want to tell you right now is I want to hear exactly what's going on. I really learn more about your challenges. Hopefully in that process of that conversation, I can answer some questions you're not able to answer me right now. But thinking about it, this is the thing. Like, you know, all, like my passion behind this is like, you know, I understand how how, as a man, how challenging this world is in terms of everything else we're responsible for. Like, you know, being a husband and being a father, you know, um, you know, understanding, like, having your career and wanting more and figuring out, like, how do I go after the things that are important to me? How do I focus on myself and be better? But then I have my family and all these other things that are challenging me that I don't want to be selfish or, 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 or self-centered. How I can I go out and be the best version of myself? You know, if you guys are following me on, on IG, you know, I post about it. I've learned the hard way. You know, I've spent so much time, you know, focusing on my career and, and traveling 22 days a month and not being around for important things. But also at the same time, I realized at the same time I was doing this that I knew I needed to take care of myself because there's no way that I could be that stressed working 10 to 12 hours a day, hustling and doing all the things I need to do to put myself in the right positions to be able to provide for my family. But at the end of the day, like, I want to tell you, like, when I start realizing what's most important is that I know I had to take care of myself. I know that in order for me to, to, to do the right things, I had to take care of my mind. And I understand that taking care of my body, like when you exercise, fellas, when you eat right, it chemically changes the way your mind thinks. The, those endorphins that kick in, it makes a big difference, which means that we can have a better uh, way of, of interacting with our children, interacting with our spouses, right, to make sure that we are being the man that we're supposed to be. But at the end of the day, like you're out there trying to hit your goal for the month. You're, you, you got a quota. You, you know, you're leading your team, all these things like you need you. And so this program that I'm talking about, and the reason why I'm going so far to ask for interviews, to ask for market research is because I want to make sure that I, that I create this, the, the program that is going to change men's life forever. Like I'm not here to just do one thing. I'm here to make a program that's going to change your life. And I'm telling you right now, it's being done. And this is so important. So I'm going to thank you guys in advance for clicking on here. But I want to tell you that I come on here every single every single week at 4.30 Pacific Standard Time on Mondays to make sure that I'm not only 
provoking you, giving you information, but to no, let you know, like you're, you're doing the right things and you can see by what we're talking about, but there's some areas that you're missing and it's about filling in the gaps. It's about uh, leading you to a place so that you can be able to accomplish the things you want. It's time, guys. Like, like I don't know what I say when I say get fit, boss. It's about like really understanding, like change those things in your life. And the ladies that are listening, it's just, it applies to you too. But the bottom line is, is like, like, like I can just tell you this. Like, there's, there's nothing better than understanding how to take care of your body and get this done. When you start to see this and you start to see your body change, all those other things, and I'm telling you, the sleep, the stress, the, 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 the lack of opportunities, the way you look, the, the fat around your stomach, the fact that you can't get muscle to build, the fact that you can't lose muscle around, or lose, uh, lose, excuse me, lose fat around your muscle, that stops, guys. That's the, it's the end of that. And you start living a healthy life. You start living a, a boss life. That one that you show that you led yourself. You show that you can do that. You start inspiring other people. You show your family. You're the big difference. You're the foundation. You're the, you're, you're the ground, the foundation everyone stands on. They need you to be a boss. They need you to take care of yourself. That's what this is all about. And it's not my motivation. It's my excitement. It's my passion. It's my energy that drives me. I know exactly what it is. I'll tell you right now. Like every day, it's it, it's I, I schedule my days. I have everything down to the point because I know in order for us to accomplish what we want out of this world, it's not about doing a lot of stuff. It's about focusing on what's important. What I just shared with you today about resetting your metabolism is important, period. You can share this with your wife. You can share this with your husband, your kids. You can talk about this. Make these differences. Make the changes. You owe, you owe it to yourself, okay? So I want to tell you right now, like I'm super excited. And I'm going to tell you again, guys, please go to this link that I posted here. Go ahead and register. Pick your times. Um, again, I appreciate you guys uh, jumping on these Zooms with me and doing this. It's just a one-on-one. -on -one. This is just me and you. And you pick the time that's best for you. Um, it won't take, it won't take uh, more than about 20 minutes at the most, depending on how much you have to talk about, maybe 30. But I really appreciate you guys. This is a, this is a, a great opportunity right now. I am on a, I am on a, I've turned up everything I'm doing right now to get to that next level, to provide a service and provide a plan that's going to change your life and to be a part of this community that I'm building. So I look forward to connecting with you guys. Thank you guys so much for jumping on this live. I hope the information I shared with you today was helpful. I hope it was insightful. I hope these are things you can go back and start getting that metabolism to go. But man, I love it. And I will say this, it, uh, like, <laughs> that, there we go. And again, for my, for my East Coast uh, for my East Coast people, that's 7.30 Pacific Standard or Eastern Standard Time. I got my guy, uh, uh, Brennan Bo out there in, in South Florida. Thank you so much, man. Uh, I appreciate you guys getting on here. I look forward to seeing you guys next Monday, 4.30 Pacific Standard Time. And if you need anything, go ahead and DM me. You guys are connected with me. And I love this. I love you guys for being connected. I love you guys for jumping on here. Have a great week. Let's go out there and finish out this, this, this month strong. You guys, uh, God bless you and your family. And I'll see you guys next week. Take care. Peace.